if you like sea bass action, this video just might be for you. What's up guys, I am in Montauk aboard with the Jigging Jerks and today's special guests are the lovely Haley Kim, the lucky Joe Sumo Cho, and you got Doc, John Cariasis, and John Halkius waving over to Jack and Jack is aboard Rick's beautiful aluminum boat and some fella named John Skinner, maybe you heard of him. So today we're on Doc's boat and his boat goes pretty fast. It goes over 50 miles an hour. So we got to Montauk in pretty good time. All right, so this day was not great for me. I just couldn't get away from the sea bass. Uh, it was pretty bad and you know, you figure 10 minutes in and Haley hooks up to a nice fish. Uh, she's got a nice five pounder. So you figure, you know, day's gonna go well. And yeah, it just didn't for me anyway. Uh, but it was slow. It wasn't like it was, you know, lock and load or anything like that. But it was a grind, but there were plenty of good fish coming up. Okay. It's coming now. It's coming now. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Nice. There you go, Haley. Go. Nice, that's a nice fluke. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's a fiver. My goal one day is to meet a fluke fishing with Tony Hoggins to see rabbit fishing. <laughs> Fucking, I knew it. I must have lost about seven packs of gulp. Uh, yeah, the sea bass just really decimated my gulp supply. Probably about 30, no, 50 bucks worth of gulp. Oh, you got a fish? Yeah, it's always there. Fluke Tony? No. Sea bass? Yeah. Or a robin. It's not a robin, even though they, you may be the only one they find out here. <laughs> sea bass? Yeah. yeah. That's what I was catching with the bait. Alright, pick them up. Alright, so I just got a teaser with the gulp, 12 inches on top of the sinker, using 2 ounces right now at the moment, probably the most cost effective rig, $2 and change the right there. The is the most expensive part Exactly. A very simple, simple, yeah, just a yeah, teaser rig, yeah, I like that's, that. it. that's it. Alright, so last year I used that rig, here's the clip of last year, uh, this is around the same time and in retrospect, I'm looking back now and I remember use, why I was using uh, this rig is because we were scoping out so badly, we were using about 6 to 8 ounces. So I reached deep into the vaults for these clips, uh, did not upload these clips last year, uh, just saving it for a rainy day and that day is today. Let me... Don't chase the fish. Oh, Tony. Oh, yeah, this oh. one's good. That's a good one. Tony hung on fire. I got it, I got it, I got it. Big. That's a keeper, baby. It's a nice fish. Tony, baby. Tony, you're on fire. Oh, man, we should all do that Tony. Oh, I touch you. I want to touch you. <laughs> the, Tony. The, the Tony. I have heels. <laughs> Tell what it was right there. I'm up, I'm up already. I'm over here. He's up, he's up, he's up. What? You don't trust me, John? I think it's a fluke. But back to reality, yeah, it was uh, just nothing but sea bass. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, good. 
So I believe at this point everybody got a keeper and uh, the hazing slowly started coming you know everybody realizing I'm having a bad day uh, so yeah, I was getting ready for it yeah. but I have a very very thick skin especially amongst friends I, we you know we know we all know that we're joking so it's all good in the name of fun and it was fun. It was a fun day, regardless of what happened to me. Uh, it was nice seeing all these nice fish coming up for the guys, Ooh, and especially nice. the special guests. Uh, I'm just thankful they got a good day out of it. Sure? Yeah, yeah. Before I drop. Oh. I got it. Don't worry. It's not a... If it's a fluke, it's not the, nothing to write on the mouth. Actually, you know what? what? Net? Yeah, get, get me the net. Net? Johnny, Johnny, get me the net. It is a, what it is is a good fish. Oh, man. Because it didn't feel... The, I'll tell you, this, this rod is amazing. Good fish, good fish. Yeah. Let's go to car right. Let's go to car right. This rod is like an unbelievable rod. You don't even feel... How did it break? You can see on the cell. Yeah. Well, you've proven that setup you have to track short fluke. <laughs> <laughs> that is so messed This up. is a sea bass killer. I mean, it's so evident why Tony moved away from your neighborhood. <laughs> okay? It's so big. It's so That's big. a keeper. So this is the thing my friend made me. What's that? They use it on the uh, on the police boats, uh -huh. you know, to measure people's fish. And it's really oh, nice. nice. That's yeah. perfect. I'll leave it up here. Um, you won't have to go past this mark, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> um, they could have shortened that out yeah. a little bit. I'm freaking being a jerk too. You know, when you hang out with somebody that's like that constantly, <laughs> it rubs off. Right? Um, Tony, baby, come on. No, that's a Sea bass, bass, yeah. Or a ramen. I'll get all the sea bass today. It's a heavy sea bass. Maybe that one will keep. Yeah, that one looks better. Yeah, yes, definitely. Oh, nice, nice Joe. Joe. Oh, Let's nice. not break this rod. Nice. That's a nice fish. Let it go, Joe. Nice, Joe. nice fat fish. Let it go, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Tony, you know I like you. I love yes, you. Yes, sir. Right? But right now, you're the donut man. I am the donut. <laughs> Wait, what do you have exactly? I have a keeper. He's, a nice He's got the keeper. What you got, Tony? Uh, See you, See you, best again, man. <laughs> you always does that to me, man. Blow up my spot. Jerk. Always does that. Always. Let's see if he really does that all the time. Want a knife? Oh. You have a hit with my. Give me my pole. Oh, that doesn't feel like it, right? Yeah, don't feel like it. Oh, Get one point. Over seven, get two. Yep. Good one? Nope. It's a sea bass. I'm joking. 
keeper? Mm -hmm. Like 16 and a half. I don't mind, they taste delicious. And you could hear that awkward silence after I said that, because they know I'm lying through my teeth. Yep. I'm gonna yell out fluke when I get one. Yeah, I'm not even gonna spit. What do you mean if? <laughs> well, I put on a new color, green. And it didn't matter, they, they loved it even more. Does anybody need tips on how to catch sea bass? Tips on how to catch sea robins. You know, do you know anybody we can talk to? Nobody <laughs> goes to Korea and catches sea robins. Come on. They, fo they, they follow me everywhere. Tony, that's what a sea bass is supposed to look oh. like. Oh. <laughs> I see. I see. Oh. Oh. oh whiting. That's a whiting. Wow. You got a whiting? Do you want to keep it? No. You must no. No. I haven't seen a whiting in God knows lost. how long. We're gonna call three. Uh, uh, they got sharp teeth. Yeah. yeah. We've seen one like wow. every trip we've been out. Think of it this way: I'm keeping all the sea bass away from you guys. Oh. Oh. oh it's a lingaling. -a -ling. Oh no, that's a real. Thing. That's a ling. <sighs> yes. I, I think I'm gonna ditch my rig. You gonna ditch it? I might have to. What you get? Is that a sea bass? No. Keep no, it fluke. Oh, is yeah, it? Yeah, keep it fluke. No? No, it's just 19. Wow, really? Wow, it's He's nice. thick. Oh, oh, shit. Now, John Halkius has used that Tsunami Slim Wave, uh, and you can see the backbone on that. It's very strong. It's a Jekyll and Hyde rod. It's a very soft tip, the very, very strong backbone. It's quite a unique rod. I've never used a rod like that before. Using this is that tsunami slim wave, which is like the. And towards the end of the day, Josimo he caught the biggest fluke of the day. It was 8.8 .8 pounds. Sorry, I was not able to record that. Had te technical difficulties. Uh, but if you go over to John's channel, uh, Jig and Jerks, uh, you will see, and you can find his video and uh, and see for yourself. You can check out John's video down on the links. Nice fish, John. Nice fish. I know. I'm never on you. There we go. Nice fish, dude. Billy, you just lost your crown. Oh, nice, John. Oh, dude, on the Palmer uh, teaser, floating teaser. Tony, one day when sea robins are like in vogue, when everything else is fished out, uh -huh. and illegal to right. catch, mm -hmm. you will be the John Skinner of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing else better to do than to sulk in my failures, have a beer, and call it a day. Uh, but it was fun either way. Uh, thank you, John and Doc, for the invite. Had a great time, and see you guys next time.